Hi, it's Bonnie from stepintobrilliance.com. How are you doing today? I am just having my Earl Grey and uh, taking a little break between calls and a class that I'm taking. And I wanted to share with you because I know hmm, <laughs> a lot of my clients and a lot of my friends and a lot of my colleagues often talk about how they get stuck, you know, in uh, analysis paralysis or some call it perfectionism. Um, we all have our cute little names for basically we're too scared to get going, right? We're, we're too scared of the risk of moving forward. And I mean, I, I'm no different. I've been there, done that many a times. And I was actually reading yesterday one of my favorite books by John O'Donohue. And I mean, this, this, this is one of those books and I highly recommend it, but you can read a thousand times. And every time you do, you pull something else really juicy out of there. Some other great nugget that you not necessarily missed before, but didn't have that impact. And there was a sentence in here, one singular sentence that just really hit me yesterday. Um, this perfectionism idea has been coming up a lot. Um, when I'm dealing with my clients and, and really for myself, because I'm, um, you know, a little insight, <laughs> I'm about to announce and launch a new program that I'm really excited about, but it's a lot bigger than what I've done before. And while I'm really loving it, it's new, it's exciting. Ah, but what if it's not perfect? What if people don't love it? What if, you know, what if, what if, what if? And it's, I realize it's about the risk. And so John O'Donoghue talks about you know, growth being necessary to get to perfection. So this whole idea we've got about not doing something because it may not be perfect is so bass backwards because until we do it, we can't figure out how to make it perfect. But he has this one line in here that just, I, I mean, I actually copied it out and I have it on a post-it note, <laughs> of course, right? What don't I have on post-it notes? And this is what it said. This is what he said. Um, the soul loves risk. It is only through the door of risk that growth can enter. Now, my soul loves risk. My ego, not so much. But when I start thinking about what I want to do in my life, I don't want to feed my ego. I don't want my ego to get stronger. I want my soul to grow. So, I mean, in that beautiful sentence, the soul loves risk. I got to connect to my soul when I'm doing the things that are risky and it won't be so scary. And even if it is a little bit scary, it's okay because my soul is going to love it. Anyways, I hope that serves you because I know it's a really common problem. And um, I mean, I, I fully encourage you to get the book if that's what you'd like to do. Uh, but the whole point was to ask you to just look at things a little differently when you're looking at um, starting something new or taking a risk or you know, daring to grow. And I hope, I hope it did serve you. And let me know in the comments what you think and where you see that coming up for you. And I will talk to you soon. Okay. Bye. Mwah.